Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about why I have lost all hope in the Magic the Gathering community. Uh, before we begin, I would just want to say that if you watch my channel, you know that I'm not the biggest fan of humans, which may sound very strange, but I believe there is a term for that. I love animals, and ever since I was in elementary school, I volunteered at retirement homes. Uh, currently, I help the elderly with immigration and sometimes taxes if it's really simple. But I wanted to make a video about just kind of the loss, like why I have such a very dire view of humanity. This guy uh, has a GoFundMe. He is Victor My Angel, Santa Clarita, California. And he is on CNN. He jumped in to save a boy from drowning, although he couldn't swim. His last action was to push this young boy to his father. So the boy was saved, which is very happy. The young boy was saved, but he gave his life and he jumped in not knowing how to swim. I read the article and I just felt sad. I felt like, wow, we lost a, you know, amazing human being. And this guy deserves all the donations. He deserves everything good in life because who does that? Who thinks of others to the point that, I mean, a young boy falls. He knows he cannot swim. He jumps in anywhere, anyway. Well, we have this donation going on, and uh, Channel Fireball, uh, or I believe Card Kingdom, donated fifteen hundred dollars. This donation will probably hit over a hundred k once all is said and done. I'm sure that there's matching funds and all of that uh, good stuff. It's twice the amount as a person who jumped after a drowning kid. Although he knew he couldn't swim. I just don't really have. It, it just. It, it blows my mind. Like. I like to think I am a very logical creature. But there's no way I can logically understand our society. And many of you might say. Oh it's because of this or that and you know they're very but to me I don't think that that makes sense you have a situation where health insurance you should have health insurance you absolutely should have health insurance especially if you're already going to doctors if you already know that a problem is going to arise again and I have said I don't think that Wedge is incorrect going to GP Vegas and Star City Comic Con or Star City Com Con because he wanted to meet his wife. Uh, I think they're married now, um, according to Wedge. Maybe they, they're literally married now. And to Wedge, that would be worth it. Now, should the taxpayers pay off this or should the patrons pay this off? Maybe. Maybe and that's why we have a system set in place. Otherwise, we wouldn't have the system. It would be like student loans where you couldn't escape the debt. Medical debt is very different from student loan debt. When you declare bankruptcy and medical debt, you actually scot-free. When you declare bankruptcy and you have student loans, they will still follow you with interest. So policies aside, I just don't really have a very the more I learn about this community, uh, Magic the Gathering community of the elitism, the uh, more sick I get, and the more like I realize people are not being rewarded for hard work, or they're not being rewarded for talent or hard work. It's not like these people have jobs and they're making tons of money and they're donating back to the community. These people are just taking, taking, taking. And as soon as they're done taking, they have a holier than thou atmosphere. So on to leave media again, uh, he points at Evan and I'm glad that he mentions this because I didn't want to mention this. I didn't know this, but Evan from, 
he got married, had kids, cheated, got married, had kids, cheated. Like, this is fact. This is a personality talking about holier than thou and what words you should or should not use in the magic community. The same thing with Wedge. He just received $77,000 is more money than most people who donated to him make in a year. He received that in a few weeks. It's twice as money as twice as much money as a person who <laughs> humanity, right? So silly, right? Like so my my job is I love my employees and I love my pets and I love, you know, my friends. I have very few of them, but I do love them very much because I have so few of them. I do appreciate um, that they are willing to deal with me. But some of this stuff is just so strange that the person talking about whether or not you should use this word is someone who cheated multiple times while having a wife. And I'm glad that Unsleeved Media wanted to bring this out because there are more stories than just this. There are many, many stories of Magic Pros some of your favorite people acting very unethically. Now you might think, oh, cheating is a person to person decision. Stay out of MTG line. And I know many of you will say this, but ethically, he cheated with someone he wor who worked for him. I own a business. I have no idea how he's not sued to oblivion right now. Maybe because he left the company and now he's at Cool Stuff Inc., which is sponsoring multiple other people youtubers who love so okay a guy who just received seventy seven thousand dollars of donations what is his first action besides asking for more donations his first action is to tell you what word not to use in the community if you use the word Thought with any sort of seriousness, you're an idiot with shit vocabulary who perpetuates gender inequality in our community. So, let me get this straight. He is calling other people idiots when he's just received $77,000 because he didn't have health insurance. I have lost all hope in humanity, like, especially in Magic Gathering community. I, I, you know, Edwin came over here. And we talked about this a little later at the towards the end when he was leaving. And I just find that like there are no reasonable human beings in this game who are content creators. Like no one tells the truth. Everyone's in it just to get donations. And it we're not a com so the community is very different from other communities I'm part of. Uh, my foster community, for instance, where uh, it's neighborhoods and we f I foster dogs and stuff. Everyone there has a full-time job that pays pretty well. And if it comes down to, oh, do we need a new crate? Do we need a new dog bed? Do we need a heartworm medication that's $800? Do we need this? We can afford that stuff and we give back to the community, right? And we give back to these foster animals. But in this community, it's a bunch of takers, there's never anyone who's giving back to the community. It's always me, 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 me. Donate my Patreon. Oh, Ultra Pro, buy this, buy that. Like, I mean, and as lovely as the notion that um, some YouTubers are pro community or pro local game store, I think that's a lie. It is an absolute lie because. By telling people to go to Card Kingdom and buy their cards, you are not pro game store, pro local game store. Unless, of course, your local game store is Card Kingdom. The one exception in that case. So, Weds um, received $77,000. He's now literally married, as he called it. I wanted to really give him the benefit of the doubt. I really wanted to say, okay, maybe he will change. Maybe this is the catalyst but from his i mean you just received a large amount of money and the first thing you're going to do when you get back is attack and say that people are idiots 
Wedge, do you realize that the main demographic of the people who watch your video are white males? Like, I don't think you'd realize that. Um, so if you ask for cash for strangers and you're already milking because you didn't bother to get health insurance and have some viewpoint that it's up to others to carry your lazy ass, then you're an idiot with a shit perspective on what a real adult is. Problem number one, there's too many takers in this community. They're just taking, taking, taking. And eventually, once you these dope patrons get wiser, and you will get wiser, I guarantee it, because something will happen in your life where you will be the one who needs a patron, and Wedge won't give you a cent, right? Um, so if there's a whole community of takers and no one's giving, you're going to run out of resources really fast. That's just a math. Now, the second thing is I don't think any of these people know how to behave, like bill, pay bills. Um, it has been said that Wedge lives at home. I don't know. I think he's my age. Like, I love my parents, and I have dinner with them once a week at least. And they live in a home that's f five to ten minutes away from me, same neighborhood. I live in a home that costs the same amount as their home. I can love my parents but still be independent. And by making money and being independent, I can give back. I watched this guy on YouTube. His name is Dave Ramsey's. And he always says that you got to do good, be rich, and then you can help other people. Here we have the reverse phenomenon of people who many of these people will never see $77,000 in a year. They donated that amount in a less than a few weeks. That's insane to me. That is insane to me. As soon as he felt better, he started attacking people again. Like, like you just received $77,000. Um, please, please understand that being an adult means getting health insurance, taking care of your body, eating right, being like... It's not easier for me to be an adult than for you to be an adult. We have the same decisions in terms of do we exercise, do we eat food. I gain weight from all the stress of buying my startup. I gain weight. I'm losing weight now. I'm on a diet. The same I can say about health insurance. I have health insurance. I pay for my own health insurance. And and I'm so glad Unsleeve bought in Evan because I didn't want to do it and now that it's the you know it's people know about it I'll just say this the person who's most critical about what words we use cheated on wife one when they had kids cheated on wife two ran away with someone who worked on I mean that part doesn't make sense to me I I can't imagine that like as a boss right like it just doesn't make sense and a lot of you guys will laugh and blah 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 but <laughs> I'm I'm surprised he's not sued. Uh, I'm I'm just shocked right now. Uh, maybe maybe they had a kid too, and that's why they gotta get child support or something like that. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.